White House about Hunter's text. Start the coup in Russia! And fucking cat turd with his one brain cell, if even that. This! Exclamation point! So, this! Ah, uh, yes. Biden single-handedly has taken an active role <laughs> in the military coup in Russia so that more pictures of Hunter Biden's dick don't get released. More pictures of Hunter Biden's nine-inch cock don't get released. Because God forbid, okay, we see any more photos of that man's cock. Anyways. I just, I can't, dude. I just fucking, these people are making, they're driving me crazy, okay? They're driving me fucking crazy. All right. All right. Anywho. Anywho. This is worse than Spongebob enemy. <laughs> it, 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 it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is worse. It is worse. Okay. All right. So let's cover the news, shall we? So this is what I, this was my understanding from yesterday. Um, Wagner mercenary chief calls for armed rebellion against military Russian military leadership. The FSB called on Wagner fighters to not follow uh, Prigozhin's orders. One second. Hydro, thank you for the six months. One second. All right. Biden is an incompetent, senile old man who is also simultaneously capable of secretly creating the conditions for a warlord and one of the largest geopolitical rival nations to fight that nation's MOD. Yeah, it's just it's, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it's Prigozhin. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. So I'll just read the article and then we'll go from there. The head of Russia's Wagner mercenary group appears to be threatening the armed an armed rebellion against Russia's military leadership after accusing it of deliberately shelling his forces on Friday. So for anyone who missed it, um, there was there is okay, so there's Russia's primary military and then they also have higher PMCs, uh, like a private military group. And some of the private military group was bombed. <laughs> and um The head of the PMCs is like, hey, you're fucking bombing us. Not cool, man. We're really upset about it. We're kind of a little bit upset about it. A little bit upset. We're on the front lines and you guys are killing us. So um, let's talk about it a little bit, shall we? Shall we? Um, and we'll, we'll get to the lack of ammunition, don't worry. Wagner's founder group, uh, Brigosian, in an audio message on Friday, claimed that his off uh, his forces would now punish Russia's defense minister and chief of general staff, telling other units to stand down and not offer resistance. There are 25,000 of us, and we are coming to sort things out. Those who want to join us, it's time to finish with this mess. Manka. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hmm. Prigozhin also accused Defense Minister Sergei of cowardly fleeing from Rostov in southern Russia and ordering an attack on Wagner forces. Uh, Prigozhin, oh, I'm sorry, I keep I keep saying um, Wagner. I know it's not pronounced that way. It's just my American ass just keeps calling it that, okay? I apologize. I'm going to keep calling it that because I'm a fucking disgusting American. Overseas tonight, Russian-backed officials are blaming Ukraine for... Yeah, I know it's Wagner, but I'm just, listen, okay? It actually sounds correct to me as a Russian. Okay, all right. I'm gonna, I, listen, all right? Okay, yeah. I stand by my statement that if you're an American, you don't have to give good pronounce. If you're not of the region, your pronunciation of something doesn't need to be perfect. All right? You should try. You should try, but. Wait, no fucking way, dude. Oh my God. We'll get to this in a little bit. No, no, no. We'll get to this in a little bit, Sharky. We'll get to it a little bit. All right. 
Uh, Prigozhin published a shaky video on Friday that showed a shattered group of trees and burning trench claiming it was a Wagner camp shelled by Russian troops and alleging many Wagner troops were killed. Russia's defense ministry has already denounced the video, calling it an information prov provocation. A Kremlin spokesperson said Putin is aware of the video. Putin has been informed of all the events around Prigozhin and necessary measures are being taken. Russia's FSB has issued a statement according, uh, accusing Prigozhin uh, of calling for the start of an armed civil conflict in Russia. FSB called on Wagner fighters not to follow Prigozhin's order and assist in his arrest. Prigozhin has denied that this is a military coup, calling it a march for justice. They neglect the lives of soldiers. They forgot the word justice and we will return it, Prigozhin said in the video. Therefore, those who destroyed our guys today and tens of thousands of lives of Russian soldiers will be punished. Okay, so this is a key factor. Now, I saw, I'm sure you guys did too. And I'm sure most of you guys already know most of this stuff. Um, but I've been seeing people describe the situation as a full-blown coup or a full-blown takeover. Prigozhin has no desire or intention to dethrone Putin. Everybody who has any power in Russia or wants to have any power in Russia is still on Putin's side. They just have to toe the line very carefully. So if they want to disagree, they have to disagree with the actions of someone that maybe Putin hired. They're not going to disagree with Putin directly, and they're definitely not going to try and directly fight Putin. Yeah, exactly, proxy. Unfortunately, though, Putin has now condemned Prigozhin, so <laughs> we'll talk about that a little bit. We'll talk about that a little bit. Um, Prigozhin mostly lying, and the reason this started is because they tried to make him sign a contract that integrates uh, Wagner directly into the military and doesn't want to lose power. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, I'm not sure if that's true. He's got no choice now. Yeah. So now, now it's not looking good. Now it's really not looking good for Wagner. Uh, it's not looking good. Uh, let's keep going because this the next part of this article has something that I think is most this is like the most important part. White House National Security Council spokesperson Adam Hodge released a statement that said the council is monitoring the situation and will be consulting with allies and partners on these developments. Hodge also confirmed later in the evening of Friday that President Joe Biden has been briefed. Uh, Sergey General uh, Sergey uh, Surovikin. Sur uh, a senior Russian general who has been linked with Prigozhin gave a video address calling on Wagner fighters to stop their rebellion and turn back. Uh, Sergei was appointed the top commander of Russia's special military operation in Ukraine between last September and January. He was removed in January and he was replaced by Russia's chief of general staff, Valery Gerasimov, at whom Prigozhin is trying to topple. So this is, I think, the key factor, Chad, okay? This is a key factor. It's looking good for Ukraine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pinky, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Prigozhin better stick to ground level hotel rooms and hire someone to test his meals and drinks. Oh. Listen, I didn't say it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say it. All right. This comes after, after hours after Prigozhin launched an extraordinary verbal attack on Russia's military leadership, saying the invasion of Ukraine was based on lies. Which is, uh, this is probably I, just a, a shot in the dark. I would imagine Putin is not very happy about this statement. <laughs> I wouldn't imagine he's not very happy. Because we are, okay, Jack, we, we have brain cells, okay? We're all in agreement that the Nazi PMCs, okay, that are marching into Ukraine, they don't, they agree with the land grab. They agree with the, okay, I mean, Ukraine should basically be ours. They are in line with Putin on this, okay? They agree with Putin. They're like, yeah, 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 our ideology is good. We want that land. We deserve that land. Let's go take it, okay? They agree with the, the power grab. They agree with the land grab. They agree with that stuff. They're both war criminals. <laughs> They're both war criminal groups, okay? Uh, Wagner, yeah, Wagner doesn't want to stop the war. They have no interest in stopping the war. They are directly upset with Russia's military leadership. They disagree with how Russia is leading the war. And their stance is, you guys haven't done a good job, which in their defense is true. Russia hasn't really done a great job in the war. <laughs> okay, They're just saying, you guys aren't doing a good enough job. We're going to get over there and we're going to do it ourselves. Okay. 
Wagner wants to get more troops to war even more. Yeah, because I've seen a lot of people being like, Wagner is upset at Putin, and so Hello, they're Dr. going... Dambo. I have been really enjoying your content, so glad I invested early on in DNM coin. We are going to the moon, unlike Russia. Man, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you. Didn't Russia try and take control of Wagner forces? Wasn't that a thing recently? It's like how Tucker Carlson doesn't want to find, fund Ukraine because he wants war with China. I don't even know if Tucker... No, Tucker Carlson doesn't want war with China. I don't think Tucker Carlson likes China. But I don't think Tucker Carlson wants war with China. They're, in general, like any large powers in the United States, they don't want war with China. Also, unrelated chat, just for two seconds, I started getting these like, they're like pimple patches. And look at how cute it is. You can't really see, but it's a little cloud. And they're very cute. And honestly, they kind of work because I had like, it was like a volcano was growing on my jaw was ready to burst <laughs> and I put it on and it's completely flat this morning so not only is it adorable but I think it actually works I don't know if anyone is interested in getting some you should totally get some if you get breakouts if you don't get breakouts I hope you have a terrible rest of your day and you step on at least 30 Legos you piece of shit okay stop it get some help <laughs> Pimple patches saved me. I regret not using them sooner. Yeah, they're great. Wagner soldiers don't have to agree on taking Ukraine. Some are a paid gig and some are prisoners. They don't, they have their own prison. Oh yeah, I'm saying like the primary leadership of Wagner, besides being like financially a good decision for them or whatever, their interests are also aligned. So yeah. Uh, private military groups are elite. What, what do you mean by they're illegal? Prigozhin wouldn't even be where he is if Putin didn't allow it. Yeah. Okay. I've had perfect skin my entire life. <laughs> I hope you die in Minecraft, okay? All right. Fucking people with perfect teeth and perfect skin. People who like, I've had people tell me like, I've never gotten a single cavity. I'm like, uh -huh. do you want me to give you one? I will show up at your house at one in the morning and put sugar on all of your teeth as you're sleeping. Like little, little bits of sugar every night until you wake up and you have cavities in all your teeth. Okay, motherfucker, you can't, you shouldn't go around saying that, all right? <laughs> all right? It's like telling someone with a cast on their arm, I've actually never broken a bone. It's like, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Who asked? Who asked? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. We'll get back to the video. All right. But to be fair, just in case someone did ask, I actually haven't broken any bones in my life. Okay, moving on. Uh, Wagner chief says Russia's invasion is based on lies. The head of Russia's Wagner mercenary group, uh, uh, Prigozhin said that the Kremlin's justifications for the invasion of Ukraine are based on lies in another extraordinary attack on the country's military and political leadership. Prigozhin, a key ally. See? Very important chat. Also, hi, tear girl. Uh, very important. In a video posted Friday, contradicted the public explanations for that war, including the central claim made by Putin that the 2022 invasion was necessary to prevent an attack from Ukraine. <laughs> Since launching the war, Putin has painted it as a defensive operation to protect Russia. He claimed it was needed to stop the imminent large-scale attack from Ukraine on largely Russian-speaking eastern region in Donbass that Russia had occupied since 2014. Don't worry, guys. We're protecting our country. We're just a small bean. We're just small bean Russia, okay? And Ukraine is being really mean to us. But in his video address, Prigozhin, whose fighters have played a leading role in the war, uh, said that that was not true and there had been no imminent rise of attack from Ukraine. The Ministry of Defense is now trying to deceive society, the president, and tell a story that there was an insane aggression from Ukraine and that it was intended to attack us with the whole NATO bloc. Okay, look, very important chat. Do you notice how he doesn't, he disabuses Putin of any wrongdoing? Again. Prigozhin is not interested in fighting against Putin. He doesn't want to do that. He wants to 1v1, essentially, the Ministry of Defense and say, you guys are leading this war terribly. Give me the power. Uh, Putin did nothing wrong. Putin is fine. He's fine. He's fine. 
He said his claim is, oh, you don't understand. It was the Ministry of Defense that tricked Mr. Putin. It was Mr. Putin had he didn't know any better. He didn't know any better. He tricked him into thinking that Ukraine is trying to attack us. OK, he's playing a, a very he's he's dancing on a fine line. OK, unfortunately, yeah. Have you seen Putin's response to all this? Unfortunately, it didn't work, by the way. <laughs> Unfortunately, it did not work for Putin. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Vladimir Putin is literally neurodivergent and a minor, okay? <laughs> he can't help it, okay? <laughs> for him, it definitely hasn't worked. Putin is about to decapitate the entire Wagner. Oh, no, it didn't work. It definitely didn't work. No. All right. Uh, I'm trying to find... And so, yeah, here it is. And steady blame show. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Show goo. Kind of not kind of ableist not to let Putin take a country or two. OK, it's literally his coping mechanism. <laughs> War is Putin's coping mechanism and you're taking away his coping mechanism. <laughs> oh, God. OK, anyways, uh, uh, the defense ministry and a clan of oligarchs are starting the war. He accused him of seeking glory and wanting to rob Ukraine and divide up its assets. Prigozhin also said in a Friday video that the two goals Putin announced at the start of the war, the demilitarization and denazification of Ukraine, were pretty stories. Ooh. 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 <laughs> He's just stimming, okay? Okay, leave Mr. Putin alone. He's literally stimming. It's his, em it's his emotional support invasion. <laughs> I'm going to hell, but that's okay. Um, all right. Okay, I'm trying to find, I think it's in the other article. Let me see if I can find it. Because this is, I'm just looking for one very important part. I think it's in here. Do, do, do. Here it is. Okay. This is the other major, major, major point, by the way. Wagner's forces have played a critical role in Russia's Ukraine uh, war in Ukraine, succeeding in taking the city where the bloodiest and longest battles have taken place. But and Prigozhin has frequently criticized Russia's military brass, accusing it of incompetence and starving his troops of weapons and ammunition. But his accusations and calls for armed rebellion on Friday were a more direct challenge. So it doesn't really talk about it enough. Um, but Prigozhin aka Wagner, their primary criticism is, hey, the Ministry of Defense uh, is not doing a great job and we disagree with all of the major decisions. We disagree with the lies and the propaganda. Also, you guys literally are not giving us our fucking ammunition. Also, you rocket striked us. Now, whether or not that that's actually true, different story, but this is what they're claiming. And so they say, they're saying basically, from my understanding right now, we're going to just go to Moscow and we're going to take what's rightfully ours. We're going to come and get our ammunition, come and change the tide of battle. And then we're going to go back out there and go back to killing Ukrainians. That is their current stance. Or at the very least, right before Putin announced what he did. That's their stance. Which is an insane thing to say. And so in Russia right now, I, I from my understanding, they're literally just driving tanks down Russia and Russian troops are just standing there watching them just make progress. Like they haven't stopped Wagner at all at any point. They've just been like, uh, looking, looking, standing. <laughs> Yo, are we going to do something about this or like, oh, is this? What does the big man say? I don't know if we should be doing. They're going the wrong way. <laughs> do they. Do they know they're supposed to be going the other way? <laughs> uh, well. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, we're just going to stand here. <laughs> Which is really. It's.
it's insane, but it's also a little bit hilarious. The concept is a little bit hilarious. Can you imagine being like a drafted soldier in Russia? And you're like, you know, uh, guarding Moscow, right? And that's your job. And then you just see giant tanks rolling in from like uh, PMCs. And you're like, damn, that's crazy. Anyways. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Wagner's, basically Wagner's official stance is give us the rubles and the ammo and we'll take care of Ukraine. Oh, you don't want to give it to us? We'll just come over there and take it. Okay? We don't want to fight you, Putin. We're on your side. We want to go out there and kill Ukrainians. I mean, Nazis. Okay? Um, however, <laughs> we want to take the stuff. Okay? Okay, great. <laughs> I remember when the last time, that's crazy. Damn, that's crazy. Anyways, yeah. Video? Is this the video footage? Wait, did someone actually pull the video footage of exactly what I'm describing? Yeah, yeah, this is it. <laughs> Can you imagine? You're just like, uh, what do we do? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, look at this person just taking a video. They're just like, are the tanks supposed to be here? I feel like the tanks are supposed to be... <laughs> On the other side. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. There's a video of a guy sweeping the streets like everything is normal too. I mean, honestly, that's just being Russian, to be fair. That's honestly, that's just being Russian. There's supposed to be another video of a city worker just sweeping the streets. <laughs> yeah, are they supposed to be way over there and not here? Oh, God. Would be crazy if they tried to find out... Uh, friendly fire is on or not yeah they were like yo what if we turn this into a pvp a a arena <laughs> mm? Mm? this is so poorly planned it has nato backing written all over this coup okay so i would agree with you if literally any of this war went any other direction you have to remember this war was started over a year ago and putin was claiming that they would take kiev in a month It's been a little bit longer than a month. <laughs> okay. They might just be really bad at war. Media is too big. Gasm. I literally... How do I open this? View in channel. NATO is not backing Wagner, LMAO. Maybe see, but who might say? I mean, okay, okay. This might be okay. So, is it cons okay? Chat. Is it conspiratorial to say that like I'm not saying the CIA is backing Wagner or funding Wagner, but I just wouldn't be surprised if it was true. The CIA and Nazis they go way back. All right. That's all I'm going to say. I'm just going to say I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if it was true. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they were like, yeah, providing intel or money or any of the things. Okay. Again, I don't, I'm not saying that this is what's happening. To be very clear, I'm not spreading conspiracy theory that this is what's happening. I'm not claiming this is what's happening. I'm saying I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. That's it. That's it. Like, for example, this is going to be a crazy statement to make, but it's fine. Nick Merckx. I'm not saying <laughs> Nick Merckx is going to be a terrible father. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. But if I found out that Nick Merckx was pro-physical punishment of children, I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be like, honestly, it fits. It does. It's. I, I'm not saying that he does. I'm not saying that he does. I'm not saying that he does. And I'm not saying that that's true. And I'm not saying I have a source. And I'm not even saying that I think that. I'm saying if it happened, I would not be like, no, not that guy. No. No. You know what I mean? Okay, to be very clear. 
to be very clear. Very different things. Very different things, okay? Chud Merckx would never. The guy who called Ron DeSantis the GOAT? <laughs> Dexterdo, I have a story. No, stop. Stop. <laughs> okay? I never want to appear on Dexterdo. Ever. Ever in my life. I never want to show up on Dexterdo. Ever. God damn. Like, literally, Dexterdo has caused Pokey more stress in her life than, like, she deserves, that anyone deserves ever in, like, a day, okay? Anyways. Who wants my story? I swear it's not about Nick Merckx. <laughs> Fuck Dexterdo. Literally, Dexterdo can suck my dick. That they can, you can, you can send that to them, okay? I do think Dexterdo should suck my fat cock and balls. Okay, so that's the primary story from my understanding. Okay. And then, uh, now, this is my understanding of what... By the way, we do have a Nick Merck story that is going to drop very soon, unfortunately. It's not great. It's not great. It's not great. But before we get there, I just want to finish covering the stuff happening in Russia, okay? Misinformation is the biggest crime in this entire story. My brother, far-right Republican, thinks teaching K-6 to six children about everything, trans hormones, even if I say that... Yeah. No, to be clear, that we'll talk about the Nick Merck situation in a little bit. The, and obviously, most of you already know this, if not all of you. The problem with the Nick Merck situation is just that, like, it's all based on false pretenses. Literally all of it. All of all of the stuff relating to Nick Merck is based on false pretenses. Because if you just took two seconds, or if Nick Merck was just capable of using his fucking peanut brain cell for two seconds and thinking, wait, why are people upset at this? Oh, they're upset at this because this is the same recycled propaganda we've been using against the queer community for decades that... We need to protect the children and saying protect the children is just like a very easy or sorry, saying protect the children is an easy way to get everyone on board against a different group of people. When anyone who has hung out with any queer people ever knows that none of them like children, okay? The people who like none of them go after like that's these are different groups. Dude, I just, I just, it makes me so angry. Okay. Using dog whistles on false pretenses is so frustrating. Can't even stop for a second and think about what's being said. Yeah. And I'm going to, we'll make a TikTok of it. I think, I think we'll make a TikTok of it, but, and I'll repeat it again. But it would be like saying, saying, I just wish the queer people would stay away from children is the equivalent of saying, I just wish Arab people would stay away from bombs. It's like, whoa, whoa, dude, whoa. You're starting on. A crazy statement there. You're that is a crazy statement to say. You're assuming that that like Arab people just have a plus one affinity to bombs in your statement, which is crazy that you're okay to say that. <laughs> when you say, I just wish queer people would stay away from children, you're claiming that queer people are actively targeting children. You're saying that this is the natural state. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> That's bad, okay? Honestly, yeah, no, I mean, I do. I have um, <laughs> Don't say I wish white people would stay away from school. Stop. Do you know how hard I have to try? Yeah, I wish Arab people would stay away from airplanes. It's like... Do you not realize how fucked your statement is? <laughs> do you not realize, like... It's like the, I don't know what this means, skill cylinder. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. I mean, people still believe you can be groomed into being gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, back to the Pogosian story. We'll get back to it. I wonder if Pogosian is better, or sorry, is, would be better than Putin. Highly doubt. I mean, any, Russia's kind of in a fucked position where... The only people that are capable of grabbing power are power-hungry people. <laughs> and unfortunately, power-hungry people are usually terrible people. So, uh, probably about the same, you know? For the record, though, for the record, though, I'm not sure if this is based or not. I haven't thought about this statement yet. So you guys can tell me. I'll take W in chat. You guys can decide. I think it's very funny. 
I think I think the image of like Putin sitting in his office and being like, what do you mean the PMCs are coming to Moscow? They're supposed to be dying in Ukraine. What do you mean they're coming here to take our ammo? No, tell them to go the other way. We're fighting a war right now. Well, I don't need this right now. I don't need this. The other way, other way. Do they know? <laughs> and I think that's very funny. <laughs> Fractal, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Thank you. I think that that's pretty much. I'm not sure if you're allowed to think that that's funny or not, but I think it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Double you take bad man catching an L. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'd love to be a fly on the wall in that meeting room. Yeah. <laughs> it would be so funny. It's like, I really, it's, it has the same energy as uh, Donald Trump throwing the McDonald's ketchup on the wall of the Oval Office. I would have loved to be there to watch him do it. No, I asked for chicken nuggies. This is a chicken sandwich. No. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Mr. President, we can go and get you chicken nuggies. Don't worry. Mm. He did what? You guys haven't heard of the story? Ketchup wall oval. This this was during one of the um uh what's the term? I think it's one of the t testimonies. Let's see if we can grab it. I can't believe there are people that didn't hear this. Here we go. Uh, Cassidy Hutchinson, who served as top aide for to former Donald Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, on Tuesday delivered a bombshell testimony to January 6th committee about the inner workings of Trump's White House uh, as his election subversion push mounted. All right, all right, all right. Where is it? I don't, I, most of this is like not relevant to the funny story I'm trying to tell. Okay, here it is. After then, Attorney General William Barr gave an interview to the Associated Press in 2020, December, saying there was no widespread voter fraud. Trump was so enraged that he threw his plate of food at the wall, smearing it with ketchup. There was ketchup dripping down the wall and a shattered porcelain plate on the floor. Hutchinson testified at noting that aides nearby conveyed the president was extremely angry at the interview. She told the committee then that she grabbed a towel and started wiping the ketchup off the wall alongside a presidential valet. Which is just so fucking funny. Which is just so fucking funny. Just truly giving Kyle energy. Sorry if there's any Kyles in chat. I'm really, I am genuinely sorry that that name has been destroyed. Same thing with any Karens in chat. I do, I am sorry that that name has been stolen, okay? I do, I am genuinely. Not all Karens. Hashtag. Okay. Now, back to the, uh, back to the Wagner story. All right. We'll get to the Wagner story and then I have terrible news to inform you guys about everything related to Nick Merckx. Putin admits that he's facing armed mutiny as Prigozhin advances on Moscow. Oh, Devis, Devis Advocate, thank you so much for the Prime. I, I missed something, I think. Oh, yeah. Escape, thank you so much for the Prime as well. All right. Uh, Wagner mercenaries are heading towards the capital as Putin's presidency comes under threat for the first time. Vladimir Putin made an extraordinary address to the nation on Saturday morning, uh, admitting that he was facing an armed mutiny led by former uh, confidant uh, Pr Prigozhin and his Wagner mercenaries. In a five-minute speech that was pre-recorded and then broadcast to a disbelieving nation, the president conceded that the insurrection meant his regime was up against the toughest battle for its future. Before the speech played out, Wagner mercenaries were seen descending with no resistance. On Rostov, uh, Rostov on Don, uh, Russia's southern military headquarters, which has been coordinating the invasion of Ukraine, once inside the key command center, Prigozhin recorded a message saying it was under his control. This insurrection, which began after Prigozhin claimed his men had been struck by a missile, fired the Russian military, is the clearest threat to Putin's power since he assumed his presidency in 2000. In the wake of this news, the United States Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said that he had spoken to or sorry, Anthony Blinken, said that he had spoken to G7 foreign ministers, as well as Joseph Burrell, the high representative of the European Union for foreign affairs and security policy. 
The United States will stay in close coordination with allies and partners as the situation continues. Turkish President uh, Erdogan, Erdogan, everybody knows this fucker, also called Moscow on Saturday. He showed his support for Putin. Die. What is the opposite of turkeys? Because turkeys is happy. It's a happy, fun emote. I want evil. I said Erdogan, yeah. Okay. Greekies? No, do not talk about Armenia. Stop. We can't. Stop. Stop. Okay. Look. I'm not diving in there. Okay. I'm not diving in there. Uh uh. No, no, no. Oh, no. All right. Kremlin's information service reported on Saturday. Uh, Erdogan uh, expressed full support for the steps taken by Russian leadership. The Kremlin said in a statement, Putin had already issued the order for the military to respond to the organizers of the uprising with harsh measures. All those who deliberately set out on the path of betrayal will suffer inevitable punishment. You know this went hard in Russian. You know it did. And yet... There was not much sign of the Russian military standing up to Wagner in defense of their president. <laughs> this is so funny. It's so funny. For Putin to issue a statement and be like, those are betrayal. That's a betrayal of our trust. Those are traitors. And the entire Russian military is like, ha, yo, that's nice. Um, so anyways... Uh, McDonald's is over there. Uh, if you guys need to use the bathroom, that's a that's a good location. Uh, and Moscow is that way, so you guys can uh, keep going. Let us know if you need anything. Uh, no, we're good. We're not. We're no. We're not fun. No, we're good. Mm, yeah, yeah. And and Boone's just like, guys, you have to stop them. <laughs> you have to said they're they're traitors. Stop them. And they're like, no, I'm good. <laughs> No, I'm good. Am I supposed to pronounce Erdogan like Hassan or Denims? Well, I'm not Turkish, so Hassan is definitely the person pronouncing it correct. Okay, I'm Arab, so you can trust me on anything that's Arab, probably. Or Arabic, rather. Unconfirmed social media footage shows an ap uh, apparent uh, explosion at an oil depot in Ver Verenge? Ver Ver Verenge? And a possible missile strike on Wagner column headed for Moscow. Prigozhin boasted that Russian citizens were backing his march towards Moscow, during which he said Wagner had not attacked any Russian soldiers. Why is the country supporting this? Because we walked on the March of Justice and they hit us first with artillery and then aviation. And we marched without a single shot. We didn't touch a single conscript. And like, you have to remember, a lot of the people that are conscripted, a lot of the people that have been drafted in the war in Russia... Don't want to. Erdo Erdogan? Got it. A lot of the people who, who are drafted right now, they don't want to be in that fucking war. Imagine you live in Russia. Okay? Imagine you're the average Russian person. And then suddenly, Putin's like, guys, we have to go to Ukraine because our freedoms are over there. We'll give you like $5. And if you don't join, we'll just kill you. It's like, um, okay. Well, it doesn't look like I have a choice here. Weren't people literally breaking their own legs so they didn't have to go to war? Uh, many people did not want to go to war. <laughs> okay. There are, there's news that like Russian troops are still too drunk to respond. I wouldn't even be surprised. But I feel like that's just like also the average Russian is just like, you know, anyway, anyways. that's the American strategy of recruiting. The American strategy of recruiting is we're going to make it financially impossible for you to do anything except join our military. So I can't, I can't imagine Russian uh, military has amazing morale at this point. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually really sad too, because a lot of the people that have been drafted unironically have been drafted for poverty wages. Like, I, I don't remember the figures, but there were people that were being drafted for, like, the equivalent of, like, $1,000 would go to their family. Or even less. And it's like, you serve for six months and we'll give them a little bit of change. And it's like, okay, I, I, I guess. I mean, 
my family can die from poverty because they literally can't afford anything because the ruble has crashed, or I can go die in a war and at least my family will do well. Okay, yay. The wives have, wives have literally turned in their husbands for like 100 bucks, yeah. And that's if they survive. Or sorry, um, if they survive, they actually get to see the benefits. Otherwise, they just die. It's like, oh, okay. They also draft them for mostly poor minority regions. Oh, I mean, like, that's just war, baby. So, imagine you are, like, an average Russian that has been drafted into a war that you don't give a fuck about, that you don't want to be a part of. And then the mercenary group that you guys hired is marching back to Moscow. And they're not firing at you. They're not firing at any of the conscripts. They're not, like, trying to fight you. Why would you fight that fight? Why would you just... For what reason? For what purpose? You'd be like, this isn't my... No, I'm good. I'm fucking good. I'm not dying for this shit. These motherfuckers have tanks. I have like an airsoft gun that breaks every other shot. Like, I'm fucking good, man. I'm literally not getting paid enough. So, yeah. They also drafted a lot of ethnic minorities from Russia, such as like lower social caste. I wonder if that's... To be honest, I would have tried to deflect and <laughs> keep heading west, so... Bolt action airsoft rifle, yeah. And with what, like rifles against tanks? I mean, yeah, they also don't have any like anti tank weapons, so it doesn't even make sense for them to try and fight that. So, <clears throat> uh, I don't know about fire, not firing. There were shots fired, uh, explosions under Rostov today. Uh, they blew up the petroleum factory too, a couple helicopters shooting, but generally, yes, I didn't see any videos of shoots in the street. Yeah, there, there hasn't been, they have walked through Russia mostly um, unprovoked, basically, or like, um, They've gone, they, they kind of just are going wherever they want. What Putin wants is literal cannon fodder. Yeah, but uh, it's kind of hard to get. Okay, well, that's from my understanding, the majority of what's happening. I think we're basically all caught up. So congratulations, chat. You guys now know everything that's happening in Russia, basically, or the quick, the very quick TLDR. All right. I just... I don't want to see anyone going around being like, um, Prigozhin is trying to start a civil war with Putin and he's trying to take the throne because that's not what's happening. In his own words, he disabuses Putin of any wrongdoing and he's saying that it's the Ministry of Defense that is fucking up and is tricking Putin into thinking that um, Ukraine is the one attacking us and we're fighting in defense. Okay. He only wants to go get more ammo. Uh, and t like seize control of the current like Ministry of Defense. Like he wants to seize control of like the military power and go back to fighting the war. Unfortunately, Putin's not having it. So this is probably going to go very poorly, which is good for Ukraine. The more infighting in, in Russia, I mean, the better for Ukraine, right? They already don't have a lot. It doesn't, it's not great to have 25,000 of your mercenaries be like, okay, mm -mm. pause. We're coming back. So I'm, I'm fucking down for it. I just feel really bad for all of the Russians that have nothing to do with this fucking war. And they're like, can I just go back to like living my life again? Because why is this happening? Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that fucking blows. That blows. All right. I have terrible news, chat. Okay. I have really terrible news for you guys. All right. Regarding the Nick Merck situation. There was a terrible clip that I saw circulating. And now there's a terrible article. That is circulating.